let's get into my 20 piece staycation capsule wardrobe. I hope there's gonna be at least five outfits for every one of you watching this video that you'll be able to recreate with items you already own in your wardrobe. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I would love if you subscribed, clicked that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Now let's get straight into today's video. I have pulled 20 pieces from my wardrobe that hopefully you will already own because I'm gonna create as many staycation outfit ideas as possible. Whether you're wondering what to pack for a weekend away, or what to wear on a long staycation, or if you're taking time off work to do some fun things at home, or you're a mum who's doing some fun stuff with your kids during the school holidays, I hope there's gonna be at least five outfits for every one of you watching this video that you'll be able to recreate with items you already own in your wardrobe. So I'm really excited to do this video. I actually was asked over on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, at Charlotte Buttrick, if I would film this. So I would love your video suggestions. And obviously, if you don't already follow me over there, I do post my outfits daily. I'm also on my stories daily. You'll just get a lot more from me. So if you like my style and my videos, it would mean so much to me if you also followed me over on Instagram if you're an active user. But getting into today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you through the 20 pieces behind me and show you what 20 items I have in my capsule staycation wardrobe. Then we're going to get onto the fun bit which is the styling video and I'm going to try and do as many outfits as possible. If you want to skip straight to that I will leave the timing on the screen and I'm sorry I hope me talking with my hands is not annoying you I tend to do it quite a lot. I'm going to sit on them maybe or put them in my pockets. <laughs> Just another note actually before I show you a little tip I would say pick no more than three to four different kind of colours and tones because if you do that you're going to struggle to put as many looks together as possible. I've probably gone for about four tones in total keeping it neutral obviously that's my favourite thing to do but you can throw in whatever colours you like. Item number one is a MAC, a trench coat or a waterproof coat, just a long overcoat that's nice and light. Item number two is a leather jacket or you could swap it for a denim jacket, whatever you'll get the most wear out of. This would also be great as a layering piece underneath your trench coat. Wouldn't be one of my videos without one. It's a blazer. Personally, I would opt for an oversized one. Item number four is a dress. I would suggest a plain dress because they go with more, but any length that you love, maxi, midi, mini, you just go for whatever type of dress is your favorite in your wardrobe. Item number five is a pair of denim shorts, or you could opt for a denim skirt. I decided to go for denim Bermuda shorts because I just think they're really versatile and nice and long and a little bit more coverage for anything active you might be doing, say for example, bowling, then you got your crotch covered. <laughs> Item number six is a pair of jeans. I would suggest straight leg, mum style or skinny jeans. Again, your favourite preference. I've gone for black, but obviously go for whatever colour you think you'll get the most wear out of. As I picked blue denim shorts, I just thought I would mix up the colours. Item number seven, a pair of smart casual trousers. I've opted for linen because I just think they're great for the summer season. And a neutral colour that can obviously work with all the other tones I've got going on behind. Item number eight is a plain sweatshirt. Item number nine is a bodysuit. Item number 10 is a detailed blouse or summer top. So think a peasant top, uh, something that's off the shoulder a little bit like this one. So just not your standard button up shirt. Item number 11 is a blouse or a shirt. You can go oversized, you can go fitted. Again, suit your style with this. I've gone for a silk shirt just because I think it's really versatile to dress up or dress down. Item number 12 is your good old basic of a white t-shirt. Mine is Topshop. I love Topshop t-shirts, can't recommend them enough. But black, grey, pink, blue, whatever colour you want, just get yourself a plain, comfortable, preferably cotton t-shirt. Then item number 13 is a vest top or another t-shirt, just another basic staple. I've decided to go for my padded shoulder top because they're really on trend at the moment. And also a piece I feel is casual but can be dressed up and dressed down. Moving on to shoes and accessories, I will run you through the bags first. I picked out two handbags because I kind of went off if you are going on a staycation and you're packing and you're traveling somewhere, you don't want to have too many items with you. So I've just picked out two very versatile handbags. 
Number one is a tote bag or could be any large size bag. I just think you can fit so much in this. So it's great for when you're traveling as well. You could just take a big oversized tote and carry a mini suitcase. Uh, if you're out and about shopping, picking things up, or if you have kids and you need to take quite a few things out with you. It's just a really versatile bag. And I've got my classic Mulberry Bayswater. I actually have a review video on this. I will leave it linked. The next handbag I would suggest is a versatile smaller bag. So small to medium, I love my smaller bags. A versatile bag that you can wear in different ways. So for example, my Senred Midi Maestra, you can wear it as a belt bag on your waist. You can wear it across the body like this. Uh, I mean, you could always just easily sling it over your shoulder and then you can actually take the strap off so you can use it as a clutch bag in the evening. So very versatile. You can also pop in your phone, your credit card, maybe like a lipstick and essentials and pop a smaller bag inside your tote bag because I don't know about you, I tend to pack so many things in my bags that when I want to find it, I can't. So if you have another bag inside of a bag, it's also a little bit safer as well if you're out and about because it's kind of easy to put your hand in a tote so if everything's in a separate bag inside that's what I would suggest. Now on to shoes. I've just picked three styles. So item number 16 I would suggest is a pair of trainers. Go for your most comfortable pair, your most versatile pair and I'm still obsessed with my CDG Converse. Uh, I also have a styling video and review video for these so I will leave that linked. Um, I also feel that comp style trainers uh, go with a lot more items in your wardrobe as well. So if you own Converse or Vans or Supergar or that type of trainer you know what I'm getting at. I think that's probably the most versatile pair of trainers to pack for a staycation. Item number 17 is a flat pair of comfortable, I'm going to stress, comfortable pair of sandals. I have my Birkenstock. I think as a black leather, they can be dressed down, dressed up, and these are hella comfy. Item number 18, another pair of sandals seeing as though it's summer and we will hopefully have nice weather in the UK or wherever you are. But I would suggest going for a block heel sandal just because especially if you're going and traveling on your staycation, you go somewhere say perhaps where the terrain, there's a lot of cobbled streets. If you've got a thin heel, you're gonna be falling over all the time. So very practical. And also if you're on grass as well, a block heel is a lot more practical. Uh, I would go for block heel sandals. I just have a mulled pair here from And Other Stories. They are all season, but anything that's not still available, I will leave alternatives linked for you guys as always. My last two items are accessories. Now I've not touched on jewellery for a staycation video because I feel it's very personal. Some people like to take lots of jewellery away with them to have lots of different options or if you're a little bit more of a minimalist like myself, I prefer to basically wear the same types of jewellery all the time. So I'd probably just take one pair of hoops, two necklaces, my rings and a bracelet and that would be it. So I will leave your jewellery choices to yourselves but my two accessories that I definitely would recommend is number 19 a pair of sunglasses take your favorite pair my current favorites are my celine cat eye sunglasses uh, you could take more sunglasses but obviously that just takes up your packing space and if you've got one versatile black colored pair or tortoise shell it's going to go with all of your looks item number 20 is a belt i really think that you can completely transform an outfit just by adding a belt to it, it makes it look like a brand new look. Mine is the Ashley belt from The Decorium, which is currently on pre-order. So if you want to get your hands on one of these belts, I think they're about £24, uh, a great Bottega dupe. They are doing pre-orders right now on the website if you are interested, because quite a lot of people have been asking about this over on my Instagram. Now that we've run through my 20 staycation outfits, capsule wardrobe and 20 items I think you will get loads of wear out of, I'm gonna take each piece and style it as many ways as possible. So let's get into it because I love doing styling and I'm excited to put some looks together for you. First up we have the trench coat and three different ways that you can wear the trench coat from casual to chic. I especially love wearing the leather jacket underneath and layering when the weather's not the best as we often have in the summer here in the UK. Next up, the leather jacket, something I think looks chic with any outfit, so you could pair it with all the other items in your capsule wardrobe for your staycation outfits. Next up, the blazer. We all know a blazer is my favourite outerwear piece, and again, I think it just goes with everything in your wardrobe and will pair perfectly with all the items in your 20-piece staycation capsule wardrobe. 
when the weather is a little bit warmer you can get your legs out so i've got a smart casual outfit to casual in the middle and then an evening look at the end I'm really into tailoring at the moment, so I love all three linen trouser looks, especially on the far right with the Converse and the trench coat. Again, a great outfit for when the weather is not so good. For the jeans, I've again gone for a smart casual look, so very casual in the middle to an evening look on the end. When it's a little bit chilly, just grab one of your three jackets and you're good to go. Next up, three ways to style your dress. So whether you've gone for a midi dress, a maxi dress, or a mini dress, all of these looks will work from evening chic to daytime smart casual and a super casual shopping outfit. I do love a good bodysuit at the moment. So after my Zara bodysuit, I love this misguided one. So here's three different ways that I would style the bodysuit with my staycation wardrobe. Next up, a white t-shirt. This is a staple for me in my wardrobe all year round. I think it looks great dressed up, dressed down, and everybody should own at least one in their wardrobe. Now onto the padded shoulder top or your vest top. On the left hand side, I've actually tucked it into my bra. So this is a tip for if you want to make a top into a crop top. Then for the shirt, I've tried to show three different ways that you can style the shirt. My favorite is the middle one. I've worn the shirt back to front. I've taken one arm out and wrapped it around my waist. But if you want a styling video for shirts, let me know. Last but not least is the off the shoulder blouse or your peasant top. I stupidly forgot to film three ways for the sweater, so I do apologize. That has been my staycation outfit idea. So whether you've been wondering what's packed for a weekend away, what you can wear on a staycation, I hope that you've got some inspiration from all the looks I created from the 20 items. And hopefully you have most of these items in your wardrobe or similar. So if you did enjoy this video, it would help me out so much if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, make sure that you click subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you'll never miss an upload. And I will see you guys very soon and if you've booked a staycation I hope you have a fabulous time.